How's my hair, Jack? Forgot about this. Check, check, check. Big disclaimer. Anything that I say in this video, it's up to you. If you want to follow it, go. Not. I don't really give a shit. How's it going, guys? In this video, I'm going to talk about how I turned this photo to this photo with the use of Photoshop. How's it going guys? Welcome to Camp Collabs where I collab with other artists make something happen and today we're just gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna do a little editing video on Photoshop. This is my friend Taylor. She's an actress model here in Las Vegas and we're basically going to turn this photo and do something similar to this or this using this this was shot when it was an overcast um the clouds were basically covering the uh the sun um it's been a uh, weird weather here in las vegas so took advantage of it um i edited i edited this photo um, on Lightroom make it simple for me so the outcome is this now we're just gonna spice it up make it something like this make it a little more um, I should say I don't know Christmassy autumn kind of colors so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple of copy layers there by doing CTRLJ I do it twice I don't know it's just standard for me so from here we're just gonna go to the this cursor here the uh, move button I should say and literally just click and drag to the photo you want to use so from here we got this bad boy we're gonna control T hold control press T move it around as you wish um, keep in mind that if you don't have the shift button held it's gonna move around like this without any order however you want it which is good but if you want to keep the uh, original original aspect ratio of the photo or the the bokeh I guess press uh, or hold shift here you go with the shift button without the shift button with the shift button without the shift button so just keep that in mind guys so moving along um, oh yeah apply forgot gotta press enter there alright so from here control T again do a little more I don't know kind of like just here we go diagonal diagonal and we're gonna press enter it's covering the main photo which is Taylor now I'm gonna go to the blend mode and go to screen and there you go there's our subject right here we, there's as you can see there's a line there we're gonna tackle that later or what you can do is press do the transform again and lengthen it fine but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna keep it kosher here boom because I want the bokeh around this area so we're just gonna fill up the the whole photo with bokeh something similar to this boom 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 so sweet and maybe another one Ooh, not bad alright lengthen it make it how you want it so I 
would say just I don't want to make it too photoshoppy just want to make it look natural as much as I can you know big bokeh small bokeh 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 that is incorrect the correct pronunciation of the term is bokeh and try to avoid as much lines as you can like this line and that line in Instagram we're just gonna need the 4x10 format so boom it's good a little OCD there Alright, so so now we got this. One one big problem there is the face is covered, so we're gonna take care of that right now. And how do we take care of that? Get the eraser tool. Um so my brush I'm gonna keep it seventy, seventy eight, and fix this problem right away. This layer here keep it in this layer because we're gonna erase part of the face where it's covering yeah there you go so it might not be this layer but it might be this layer ah uh, that's it so the face is good now the um, these lines I don't particularly hate them but there you go I do hate them it's not natural so I guess it's this one yep we're gonna erase that too same opacity same flow around there I think there's one here too just following along the lines here so Pretty much that's that's I'm happy with that, but we're gonna take it a step further, further, further. Um, just a little bit of dodge and burn with these bokas, bulky. Um, boom. Especially the the sweater. Not a fan of uh, unnatural bokeh on the sweater, so boom, boom. It's good. All right, a little bit on the hair. Love that. So now, just a little zoom out. Looks good. But since we if we added this um, other layer of bokeh, I lost the blacks. And I'd like to keep the blacks black, which is just me. Um, I'm going to just push it down to 10. And ink from 255 to 245, around there. And maybe just 95, just to keep the blacks black. That's just me. It's up to you guys. But you guys want to add a little more finesse there it's fine by me here you go here you go oops it's gonna make it 50 percent there you know just a little pizzazz it's fine All right, so that's that. I think uh, pretty happy with this edit. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions of what I should um, teach you guys on the next tutorial, just put it down on the comments below. What am I gonna say? What do I always have to say? Share, comment, subscribe. So redundant. Thanks guys for watching. And if you guys like this video, share, comment, subscribe. 
And until next time, see you guys at Camp Collabs where I collab with other artists to make something happen. How was that? Pretty good, Jack? Pretty good, pretty good? All right. I know. You gotta work on these, buddy. Before starting, this video is gonna be deleted.